it's been kind of stagnant with nerf recently. Yeah, we've had some cool stuff like Rivals come out, but with every Rival Blaster, there's now three Retaliators and five Strifes to go with it, which is getting a little out of hand. And while it just may be the way things are going to go from now on, and I really hope it's not, what we're seeing today isn't truly something that's a step beyond, but it is definitely a step in the right direction and making something that we already have just a little bit better and more accessible. And of course, I'm talking today about the Modulus Tri-Strike Blaster. One second. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a return to form. It's exactly what we needed at this point in time when it comes to nerf. It's not a complete change of the way things are working. A lot of you are not going to be blown away, but at the same time, it's well designed and it's pretty much perfect for every single possible thing you could want. The Tri-Strike, and it's really weird talking about that when it's just the base blaster. I smell an Elite version in the future that is just this, but without the Tri, is quite possibly one of the best design blasters Nerf has ever put out. And I hate to say that because they have some pretty decent ones, but this thing took the Retaliator, the Long Strike, and the Elite Alpha Trooper, threw them in a blender, and gave us the best parts of all of them. With this, you've got the nice pistol-like magazine fed that we got with the Retaliator, but without the stupid top priming. You got the really nice grip that came with things like the Long Strike, and then of course you've got the Prime action, which is kind of bolt action, but not. But at the same time, it gives you slam fire like the Elite Alpha Trooper. And the best part of that is that this slam fire is ridiculously smooth. I'm not even kidding. This is almost Pyragon or Pyragon levels of smooth. It is utterly amazing how well this blaster was done. And honestly, just clone this for the next couple of years, please, because this is the pinnacle of achievement right here. It's sad that it completely invalidates everything you were trying to do with the Recon Mark II, but this is awesome! Now I know what you're thinking. It's got a bolt-action prime on the side of it. How could that be comparable to something like the Elite Alpha Trooper? Well, it's actually better in my opinion. Stay with me for a second, but when you're priming the Elite Alpha Trooper, you are moving a lot of plastic a very, very large distance. And while you may have two hands on it, you're still going to end up moving that thing quite a bit. And you have to, requires a lot of force to do. This thing, you can just roll it right off your hip, just like a strong arm, and spam it like no tomorrow. But when you want to make those really accurate shots, it's not hard to make those shots. Now, that's not to say this thing wouldn't be absolutely awesome with a pump action, and I'm very certain that's going to be coming down the line very soon. In fact, as you can see right here, there's a very nice, generous gap for a rail to run up the front here and connect to the front barrel. Of course, we're going to need to have some kind of front barrel attachment to work with that, which I'm doubtful is going to be any kind of issue. But the point is, it is incredible. This thing is very, very well designed. You get everything you could need in a basic blaster right here. You got slam fire, you've got a good prime, it's better than the top action thing, that's for sure, because it's just a little movement down here. And of course, you can only have to do it on one side, so your accuracy isn't going to suffer for using this thing. But then you've got lots of room to put on various attachments that could augment the way the blaster works. Now, if I had some criticisms about it, my first criticism was, why does it come with a 10 round magazine? Seriously, like we have the 10 rounds that are curved that came with the original modulus, and now we have 10 rounds that are straight. And then we had the 12 round clips and the flip clips and the, why? Why do you do this? I don't want this. It's just gonna be another magazine sitting in this box that's never going to get used. Grr! But on the list of things, that's basically it. I, okay, yeah, this is pretty ridiculous too. There's no way to one hand uh, dismount my magazine there, but that's a really easy fix. I'm not even gonna complain about that because really it's just enlonging this piece of plastic right here. Uh, 
it's not even really worth complaining about and honestly it doesn't matter much when you're gonna have to use two hands anyway to reload your blaster so what does it matter if you have to go like this instead of going like this and feeding another maggot and seriously what's the point of complaining about that but as it stands the only way you're going to get the nerf modulus tri-strike is with all of the other goodies in the $50 package so is that gonna be worth it the first thing we get is something that is almost entirely different if you don't count the long shot front gun, which trust me, you wouldn't after seeing this thing anyway, which is a HAMP, a high air pressure manual pump barrel attachment that has a smart AR system that fires mega darts. Awesome. Yeah, it's a barrel attachment that gives you a nice comfy grip to hold your blaster but the best part is, of course, when you pump it forward, and then say you want to pump it back, you fire a Mega Dart. And it fires them pretty well, although that time it shot too, and trust me, that's going to happen every once in a while. It's still pretty awesome. It's not the best thing ever, because of course you're using this dumb thing, but it does go through a smart AR system, which kind of balances out the ranges so much. In fact, I think the ranges on this were pretty darn good. They were reaching almost as far as the actual shots themselves from the main blaster. And the main blaster already seemed to beat the hell out of any stock retaliator I've ever used, so that was a good thing. In fact, it's doing a way better job than the Recon Mark II. Which is sad to say, because I really like the Recon Mark II, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about this thing. It's kind of interesting. It is a massive piece of plastic. There's no way going around that. But it's a very, very nice, comfortable grip. It doesn't rattle or anything like that once you have it in place. And it fires Mega Dart, so it gives you some kind of a shotgun room clearing ability that is almost entirely wasted on this blaster. Because if you want to use this, that means taking your hand off the bolt action right here and moving to this. So maybe this is a really, really poor attachment choice for this blaster. But if you have like a modulus or a strife or something, this thing is going to be incredible because it very effortlessly lets you poke around corners and if there's something there, before you even have to rev up flywheels, you just shoot a mega dart at them. And within 35 feet, this is pretty much guaranteed to tag them. Mega darts are already hard enough to dodge as is, so now you can do it without even revving up your flywheels. This is an amazing attachment. Well, well worth the package. These two right here were worth my 50 bucks in my opinion. Now, I'm sure they're going to wind up on Amazon and be pretty cheap separately. Maybe more expensive than the total package, but cheaper separately. But if you could get just these two, this is worth it. I can't state that enough. This right here is everything I could possibly want in a blaster, and I didn't even have to mod it. Now, how would I mod it? Maybe being able to upgrade this a little bit yeah you could try to put some kind of air tank or something in it but honestly this works pretty darn good out of the box it's nothing amazing i'm not going to say it's incredible but the functionality you get out of the package with what you have right here is great this right here is perfect now we have to ruin that this looks like something that if your wife or your girlfriend brought home, you would no longer feel secure about yourself ever again. This is a stock and a rail mounted piece that unfortunately the only rail on the Modulus Tri-Strike is on the optic place itself, even though it's not an optic at all, that uh, is another HAMP or High Air Pressure Manual Pump that's meant to fire, obviously, a demolisher rocket. So this right here, in and of itself, is a Thunder Blast. Sorry to anybody who bought a Thunder Blast. Yeah, you can, uh, you can put it on the blaster yourself, or better yet, you can completely take it off, because that is a waste of time. And you can connect it to itself. Now, obviously, when it's attached to a blaster, it does one cool thing, which uh, gives you two stock attachment points, which is pretty cool there, there's definitely some play value there and it's fun but this was i've never owned a demolisher or anything like that i've never felt the need to buy one and i was gonna buy a thunder blast but when they were on sale i just didn't have the time or patience to get one anyway but this is horrible uh 
I don't really see a point to this. Like, maybe it's good close range, but if you're trying to pump it like that, like how you would think you would use it, it's, like, terrible. Like, I can throw a football better than that, and I don't football. And yet, if you do the psych patented rocket slap, it's still not that good. And that's a shame, because I wanted to like this as it's the only thing I have to shoot those demolisher rockets, and, well, it's crap. It does add some play value, don't get me wrong, it is fun, you get a another stock attachment, you get another one of these. So if, if you had multiples of these, it would be really fun to, <laughs> it would be a lot of fun to have them kind of daisy chained onto, uh, yeah, that's there's a million view video right there for YouTube. I'm sure somebody's gonna steal that from me, but it's a lot of fun. You can have some fun with this and it's, it's gonna be one of those things where you're gonna, if you get somebody out with the rocket, it's gonna be a humiliation. It's gonna be a really, really, fun time for everyone. The stock itself is pretty comfy, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of retail surface area back here, and it would be better if it had the option of, like the, uh, like the, re the, re uh, the Raider stock, if you could pull that back and kind of have it click into place and then stay back like that if you wanted to have it fully extended without the stock, but have like a button or something somewhere where it disengages that clutch mechanism and just flies forward and delivers its airflow. It doesn't have that, that's an easy mod, and once it's like that, it's a pretty decent stock. It looks cool and it's comfortable, so it's hard to complain about, but this basic thing is, ugh. And of course, the only way they could attach it to the blaster and still have it function is with a ton of exposed tubing, and it doesn't really describe this well enough, like, over a camera, but this tubing is huge. It's like the diameter of a Nerf dart. I was not expecting that. There's a lot of wasted space here. Jeez. Yeah, and unfortunately it's not that good, but when you consider how good the other two things are, even if you don't like my idea with the, the tri-strike mega dart hamp thing, if you don't like that, you can still argue it's fun. And the base blaster is still pretty good. I would pay 25 bucks for the base blaster. That's well worth it, but... This thing is complete garbage. I'm. If you think you want it, you may, but honestly, I'm not gonna say lose any sleep over, you know, deciding if they sell the parts separately, if you should just get the other two, because the other two are way better than this thing. Honestly, I couldn't get this to go half as far as the Mega Darts, and this is a big, huge missile. Bummer. So obviously I'm a huge fan of what we've got going on right here, and what makes it even better is that this platform is already well known. If I want to make this thing hit harder, I just take the spring out of my Recon Mark II and throw it in here. And then on top of that, I get to look forward to things like artifact breaches, artifact magazines, look forward to other kind of sealed breaches that are bound to come out, pump action grips for it, or maybe some kind of kit that I'm sure is going to come out that pins this thing to this thing and makes them work in tandem. Although, I guess that that would be really hard to work. Never mind, forget that last part. But you get the idea. There's a lot of things that could go right for this. And this thing, while it may not be good for the Tri-Strike itself, is an excellent... Uh, this makes me want to have an original Modulus so glad... I, I hope there's still $14 on Amazon. Because suddenly the Modulus is my new frickin' flywheel primary. Love the Power Strike 48, but this thing, I want to use this so badly, it's not even funny. There's a lot to love here. A lot to love. The Tri-Strike is finally something I think Hasbro has done right, and then of course they're going to ruin this by making stuff like the Desolator, which looks awesome, but it's just another Strife. And the fact that we just got done with the Recon Mark II, I can't win. That's the nature of the beast, unfortunately. All of the other things now seem like complete crap compared to this. That's a shame. This is pretty much my, no -go, my, my new go-to everything. So if you're in the mood for a Springer and you want something that's very good, pretty much better than anything else on the market right now, I can obviously recommend the Tri-Strike. I 
uh, I already said it's better than pretty much everything else, so what more do you want from me? In fact, if you want to buy one right now, there will be a link in the description box to Amazon where you can pick one up, and of course, it helps this channel grow. That's the best part about it, in my opinion, obviously. But of course, what do you think about the Tri-Strike? What do you think they could add to the base blaster to make it even better? Honestly, I don't think a whole lot, but I'm sure you guys have your own ideas, so please let me know down in the comment box below. And of course, if you like the Tri-Strike Blaster as much as I do, there's a like button for you. And for the rest of you, I don't know what the heck your problem is, Flywheel Master Race, but there's a dislike button there for you as well. I'm Walcom7, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see some more stuff I've reviewed, there's these two videos right here that will let you see some other stuff. I guess that's a little bit too high. Let's, it's the weirdest part doing this because obviously I can't even see the camera, so what do I know what's going on? There's going to be two more videos right here. You can click on to watch some other stuff that I've reviewed in the past. And of course, if you want to see more reviews in the future with all these new blasters coming out, the easiest way to do that is to hit the subscribe button. It's way better than coming back to this channel every oh so often and see if I've uploaded something new and being like three weeks late to review and for those of you who were subscribed a long time ago you saw the mastodon review far before anybody else on the internet in fact you saw internals on it far before anybody else so make sure you subscribe to the good old fuzzy walrus industries thank you again for watching this video and i hope to see you in an entirely different one